It's Saturday morning, November the 15th, about 9 a.m. Looking just about due north in False Bay, it's in South Africa. I left a little bit after 6 o'clock this morning from Simontown, headed to St. Helena. And uh, while that bears a striking resemblance to Table Mountain with the Veil of Cloud, it's not. Over in that area there, from the right, is the town of False Bay. And then going to the left is Kalk Bay, uh, Fish Hook, then Glen Cairn. And then over this way is all Simon Town, which is where I left from. Panning around uh, through the west, you can see the clouds laying over the tops of the hills there. And out over that way is the Cape of Good Hope. Uh, the last couple of days it was blowing quite strong. I wanted to leave, but uh, it was blowing 30 to 40 knots out here from the southeast, which makes it very difficult to get out of uh, False Bay. It's not too bad once you get around Good Hope because then it start heading north. But uh, when that's out here... It's November the 15th, a Saturday morning, about 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm leaving... Uh, Simon Town, headed out here around the Cape of Good Hope, and then on to St. Helena. And the local wildlife, I guess, has decided to give me a nice send-off because there are numerous seabirds, uh, seagulls, and seals, and porpoises have come out here to give me a little escort as I'm sailing along. It's a delightful treat see them swimming and uh, jumping in the water, cavorting around and having a good time. Pretty nice day. It's a little cool. Just missed one there. I'm uh, heading out towards a waypoint off to the south south east, south south west of the Cape of Good Hope, which you see just about off the starboard bow there ahead. So I'm about three hours away from that waypoint, and then I can turn more to the west, and then eventually more towards the north. It's Saturday, November 15th, uh, not quite 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Turned into a real beautiful day. I left this morning from Simontown. It was a little blustery, but uh, through the morning and the early afternoon, conditions went lighter, and right now it's about ideal. That's probably a 12 knot, maybe a little bit more breeze blowing from the south-southeast. I'm um, headed uh, about southwest uh, to clear an offlying danger that's uh, about two, three miles off my starboard bow. The picture you're looking at is Cape Point. That's the very end of the Cape of Good Hope. Uh, of course, there's a radio antenna over there, and I can see the navigation light. But of course, uh, in the daytime, there's no light, so you can't see it. Turning into, has turned into a real beautiful day, and I'm very thankful of that because it's been quite windy and cold the last couple days. Anyway, you're looking about to the uh, west or a little bit north of west, and I'll scan over this way, which is going back to the north, back into False Bay. You can see that lower dark mountain 
perhaps in the foreground. That's about where uh, Simontown is. And of course, that's looking up north into False Bay. I just It's Tuesday morning, uh, about 9.30 a.m. on the 18th of November. This is uh, Phoenix and I sailing to the northwest, having left uh, Simontown a couple days ago. We're headed to St. Helena. Uh, once again, this is how you do 150 miles a day into Cape Dory 28. I had the Yankee sheeted off the end of the main boom and the stay sail pulled out to windward. It's blowing a good steady 25 knots, perhaps a little bit more, and has been doing so for the last day. I should be making a run of uh, something over 150 miles for the last 24 hours. And the day before that, I did 146 miles. The seas are running uh, four plus meters, maybe even as much as five. It's all coming up out of the southeast. Uh, not a too bad a day. It's still pretty cool because I'm uh, a little bit more than 30 degrees south latitude. It's Wednesday morning, November the 19th about 9.30 a.m. You're looking off uh, a bit south of west on my passage from uh, Simontown to St. Helena. The last couple of days it's been blowing pretty strong, very steady 25 knots. Uh, last night I had some squalls come through and the wind got up, uh, up in the 30, 35 range so I dropped the Yankee and uh, still kept the boat speed up quite well. Looks like another 150 mile day coming up. Seas are still running pretty good size up in the four and five meter range. It's a bit overcast but there's some blue sky out there. That's back towards the southeast or so. Up ahead to the northwest, I'm uh, down to just the stay sail pulled out to windward. About 125 square feet. Boat's still making a pretty steady six knots under just that sail. After the first couple of days, I haven't seen much out here at all. It's Sunday, November 23rd, about 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, currently at approximately 24 degrees south latitude and 5 degrees east longitude on the way from Simontown, South Africa to St. Helena. It's a pretty nice day. This is the most blue sky I've seen in about the last four days. Wind's pretty light, 10 maybe 12 knots from about the southeast, maybe south southeast and I'm headed uh, about northwest or a little north of northwest. Now, I've got the Yankee pulled out <clears throat> and the, uh, the drifter set pretty much flying and sheeted off the main boom. 
I have the main up, it's double reefed so as not to blanket the uh, drifter too much. Yesterday at noon I reached the halfway point on this trip of about 1800 miles which was uh, pretty good for me because I expected uh, somewhere around 18 to 20 days for the trip seeing, uh, because it's 1800 miles. So to cover half the distance in the first seven days was uh, really great. But since then, conditions have been pretty light like this, either very light southeast